Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And good evening, everyone. Uh, first, we will start our session, induction session uh, this evening with Umur Cita as well. Amin, 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 ya Rabbi Alamin. Thank you everyone for being with us uh, today. We are very pleased to be able to welcome uh, all of you to University of Medical Sultan Idris. Uh, congratulations for being part of us, for being part of uh, University of Medical Sultan Idris family as a postgraduate student. Okay, without uh, wasting any time, I would like to invite uh, our dean, Professor Dr. Raja Nusafinas, to give the welcoming speech. Okay, thank you, Jimu Is. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And a very good afternoon, everyone. Okay, uh, I'm not sure what is uh, the time in your country. Uh, probably we, uh, we all have a, a different time zone. Uh, at the moment, but of course, uh, it is um, uh, almost three uh, in Tanjung Malim, uh, Malaysia. Okay, so it gives us a very great pleasure to see all of you uh, today. And uh, actually, we have uh, 87 international students uh, who have registered, uh, 53 PhD students, and 34 master students. But I was uh, told just now that we only have 29 students online, but uh, about 38 students online, so that's quite a good number. But anyway, um, we, we can't be waiting for everyone to be here, but uh, this is actually a very uh, important induction session for us to uh, to sort of uh, brief everyone and for you to get to know the university, University of Pendidikan Sultan Idris, as well as the Institute of Graduate Studies. So on behalf of the uh, Vice Chancellor, the University and Institute of Graduate Studies, we would like to welcome everyone to the postgraduate programs, uh, Masters and PhD. Uh, we had a session this morning, uh, but the session is uh, was only for the local students, okay? And the afternoon session is actually for all the international students because we try to cater to the time zone so that, you know, everybody would be able uh, to, to join us today. Uh, for everybody's information, uh, currently, at present, uh, we have around 1,200 um uh international students uh from um basically like almost 30 over countries and of course uh the majority of our students uh actually come from china uh followed with uh indonesia as well as uh united arab emirates and also other parts of the world so um <clears throat> The thing with international students, yeah, uh, so far that I've become dean of the uh, postgraduate programs or for the Institute of Graduate Studies, we always have communication problems, okay? So we hope that by having this session, okay, we can actually uh, solve uh, some of the uh, issues um, that we have and hopefully, we hope that all of you will have a good academic journey uh, with us uh, in UBSI. Okay, a little bit of, uh, for those who have not been to Malaysia, okay, Malaysia is a multiracial country, okay. So, we are actually located not far away from Kuala Lumpur, the capital city of Malaysia. So, if you go on a highway, it's about an hour journey. So, uh, University of Pendidikan Sultan Idris, or known as UBSI, is actually on the border of two states between Selangor and Perak. So, the capital city is in Selangor, 
but as you move uh, as you uh, move towards north of Malaysia, the first city that you will see is uh, you will meet us, uh, Tanjung Malim. Okay, Tanjung Malim is actually a university city. I think a majority of the population in Tanjung Malim belongs to uh, UBSI. Okay, it's a it's a uh, it's a university in a small town. Okay, uh, like I said, um, um, it's a very peaceful town. Uh, if you know the um, our national car, uh, Proton. So we have um, uh, we are actually um, near. Okay, near Proton City, or the main, uh, or the new campus is actually in Proton City. So we have two campuses. Okay, uh, the name is actually very long because the name of the Sultan or the King. Okay, uh, but it's good for you to know uh, that the old and the new campus okay even though the new campus is not so new now okay but the old campus is right in the uh tanjung Malim town okay and the new campus is like 15 minutes uh uh from the old campus so it's, it's in proton city so the institute of graduate study okay is actually in the old campus Okay, in the whole campus, and um, it's, it's very easy to, uh, to reach us. And um, for your information, uh, today we are going to introduce you to the top management uh, of the institute. So I am the dean, okay, of the Institute of Graduate Studies, and. Uh, uh, you can see on the screen that we have Professor Chemistry, Dr. Azlan Kamari. He is actually the um, Deputy Dean for Academic Development and Graduation. And then we also have, uh, so he's a Chemistry uh, Professor. I'm from the uh, Teaching English, uh, of uh, Teaching English as a Second Language or the TASO or in the English language um, department, faculty of languages and communication. And we also have um, associate professor, Dr. Hartini uh, Jaffa. Uh, she is the deputy dean, admission and lecture management. Uh, her expertise is in, in accountancy. And next to me, okay, uh, we have associate professor, Dr. Zul Ezwan bin Abdul Malik. He's the Deputy Dean of Student Affairs, okay, and also Publication, and uh, he's from the Faculty of Sports Science, okay. Now, uh, all these are the top management of the university. We are all uh, lecturers, and we are also holding the administrative post. So, in order to help all of you, uh, we have different, different units, okay, in the graduate school. So we have one Aniza Abdul Latif, uh, the person next to me, who is the administration um, unit and uh, administration. Let me show that. Yes. Administration and finance unit, and uh, she actually oversees all the units uh, in the uh, in IGS. Okay. And then I'm sure this person is not a stranger to all of you. Okay, Ije Fadli. Uh, he's in the admission. He's the officer in the admission unit. So I'm sure that some of you have actually contacted him uh, upon receiving the offers and whatnot. Okay. And we also have one Sakinato uh, Hidaya. Uh, so that is the person. Okay. She's the officer for lecture um and she's the officer for policies and academic quality unit as well as the lecture unit okay and we also have one rohana okay uh, so one rohana or madam rohana okay she's a very important person everybody is important but this person and this officer is in charge of supervision uh, examination and graduation unit. So basically, your progress, the progress of your academic work or your academic journey, journey 
if you don't know Puan Rohana, if you don't know Madam Rohana, that uh, is a pity. Okay, uh, because you want to change supervisors or anything that has got to do with supervisors, you have to deal with her and you have to deal with her every semester uh, because we, uh, she will coordinate the exam results and your, your um, research progress and towards the end of your academic journey also you will not be able to run from her <laughs> because you might want to you need your transcript or your early um scroll uh, those things yeah and we also have uh, madam farah shafila who is the officer for the information technology and report unit okay and miss hind Okay, she's in charge of the offshore unit. And of course, our MC for today, uh, Injit Mu'is, who is in the uh, Student Affairs and Publication Unit. Okay, now, um, I would like um, to sort of uh, remind everyone, okay, because uh, for the past three years that I have been um, in the graduate school, okay um that there are certain uh process and procedures that students are not uh, familiar with okay and they claim okay they claim to be they are not familiar with those uh process and procedures okay especially for international students it's actually very important that even though you have uh, gotten your eval okay um for you to register for your study but most importantly, you have to remember that within three months, okay, six months, okay, within six months, you need to have your student pass. So I would like to introduce to you, okay, <laughs> uh, Miss Hidaya, okay, all right, uh, she is from the international uh, office, okay, international office. So it's International and Mobility Center, okay? Uh, we call it as IMC. But basically, all, all of you need to know that she's from the International Office. She's in charge of the visa, of the student pass, extending your visa and whatnot. So she is the person, okay? This is actually very important because we don't want you to come to UPSI as uh, as a tourist okay when you are actually our student okay and uh, for international student the, uh, students this is also very important if you want to change your program okay make sure you do it either this semester that's it <laughs> only in this semester why because the change of visa require change in your status uh, with EMGS, okay? Uh, with, with the education, uh, education, uh, education Malaysia service, global, service. global services, okay? So if let's say uh, your um, your 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 offer letter and the uh, the program and also your visa. Okay, they are not, uh, how shall I say this, uh, uh, they are not aligned or, or uh, that's mismatch, okay, that's mismatch. So you will be in trouble, okay. The reason why I said it's better to change your program if you're not sure in semester one, because if you do that in semester two onwards, it's going to be very messy especially if you have entered Malaysia, then you have to go back to your country and start the process all over again, okay? So I'm, I'm, um, I'm saying this now because if you have a change of heart, uh, if something that we offer you and you feel that because of the demand of the scholarship or, or it could be other things as well, maybe your, your employer, then you need to make your decision very fast within this uh, semester, okay? And I would also like to remind everyone, once you are uh, a, a UBSI student, 
you need to be using the email which we provide you. Okay? Because if you do not actually log in at all to the email, then you will have problems in terms of getting information uh, from us. Okay? Despite our efforts to have all, to have many uh, channels in terms of communicating with students, but our main channel is actually using the emails. Okay, so make a point to check your emails and make a point to go into your portal so you know what's going on. Okay, there are issues things like when you are away. You know, there's an expression that. Um, you know, um, when when you are away, uh, what was that? Was that um, okay, no mind, I can't remember it now. <laughs> but 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 what I'm trying to say, okay, even though you are away, it does not mean that you cannot progress in your studies. Okay, of course, it would be better if you are here with us in Malaysia. But of course, I know that some of you are still working. You have a uh, uh, work commitment and whatnot. So you would only come during certain time, during your holidays and whatnot. Okay, that would be fine. But the most important thing is that you need to always stay connected with us. Okay? If you don't stay connected with us, that is usually the problems that all of us, not only us in the management, but also for for, for the students as well. So check your emails, join the telegram groups, uh, you know, uh, uh, and then um, sometimes we post uh, in the in the um, in the social media, okay? Uh, so that would actually help you to get to know. And more importantly, if you are a PhD student, it's your supervisor, okay? You have to stay close. Uh, to your supervisor in order to make sure to, in order to ensure that you will progress in your work. Okay. Um, other than that, I think it will be explained further. Okay. Uh, by Dr. Zul Izwan and also the team. Uh, once again, okay, I would like to um, uh, welcome all of you. And inshallah, uh, if we get to see you face to face later, for 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 everyone's information, um, the Muslims, yeah, the Muslims are going to celebrate the Hari Raya. So the office is going to be closed basically next week, okay? Because everybody will be going on holidays. So if let's say you know there is a delay uh, in terms of answering emails and whatnot. Please be patient because by the, what was the date that we come back? Um, uh, by the fifth day, okay, uh, everything will be back to normal, okay? And uh, I know that this is actually a very awkward uh, time uh, because it's, it's the admission uh, time for you to start your semester and also at the same time, uh, it's also the time for, uh, it's a seasonal time, okay, just like Christmas, it's like seasonal time. It's a, so, so uh, everybody uh, will be going on uh, for a holiday. So for those who are having lectures, okay, uh, who's doing coursework, okay, um, the lecture should start next week, okay. So later they will show you how to get into your um academic portal or known as my guru so you can actually check on announcement you can actually check announcements uh, and see whether uh, whether there's going to be class uh, next week which is always on uh, friday and saturday or uh, maybe some of the uh, lect uh, lecturers would actually extend it to the following week okay uh, so don't be disheartened okay it's going to be a little bit chaotic uh, for all of you because everybody is not around but but inshallah uh, things are going to be uh, smooth sailing after that uh, so if if you come to UPSI don't forget
forget to come to the counter, okay, because if you have registered, uh, we have actually uh, somebody for you, okay. Uh, this is a, a, a knapsack uh, with a UBSI logo, okay. This is a very good bag, okay. Why I say it's a good bag? You can put your books, you can put your laptop, and you know, uh, it lasts for a very long time because I've seen students carry it around even up to their final year. And of course, we have this um, small uh, notebook uh, for, more, uh, for all of you. So please, 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 when you come to Malaysia, when you come to UPSI, don't forget to look for us in Institute of Graduate Studies, okay? And also go to the international office. And um, this is at the counter. You can claim this at the counter. Okay, you will see Mr. Fadli, uh, Mr. Fadli, and you can get this goodies uh, uh, from from the counter or the admission uh, unit counter. Okay, so that's all for me. Uh, I wish you all the very very best, and I hope you have a very meaningful experience uh, with all of us in UBSI as well as. In Malaysia. What we like to have it. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you very much, Prof. Uh, Dr. Raja, for the welcoming speech. Now, I would like to invite, uh, I should say, uh, Professor Dr. Azul Edwan uh, for a briefing of academic rules and regulation. Okay, uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And very good evening to all of you. Okay, uh, thank you very much to our chairman and uh, our dean, Professor Dr. Ranjia Safinas, and to all my fellow colleagues. So, I will uh, take the opportunity to continue okay, to tell you or to inform all of you that uh, some important things related with uh, our institute and also what should you know okay? uh, related with your study so go to this slide okay uh, maybe some of you have noticed about this okay the type of study that we have here so we have um, <clears throat> masters and also doctorate and master we have three types of modes which is research mode mixed modes and also coursework uh, and doctorate, we have a research mode uh, for like for doctor of philosophy, mixed mode, uh, doctor of education, which is you have to complete 80, 80 hour credits, and also coursework mode, uh, doctor of psychology, which we um, combine with combine, combine. Joint, 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 joint degree program with uh, University of Science Malaysia. Okay, so for Detail you can look at the we will provide the, the slide. Okay, you can look at the slide uh, after this for the program structure. So please make sure which structure that you uh, enroll, which uh, whether it's a master by research mode, uh, mixed mode, or coursework, and also uh, whether you enroll doctor of philosophy. Doctor of Education or Doctor of Psychology. Okay. Um, and here the period of study, okay, for Master of Research, for full time, we have four semester minimum and six semester maximum. And for part time, six semester minimum and ten semester maximum. And for those who enroll for um, mod B and mod C, which is coursework and uh, mix, mix mode, uh, full time three semester minimum, six semester maximum, and part time four semester minimum and ten semester maximum. And for doctor of philosophy, for those who are full time, there is a six semester minimum and also ten semester maximum. And for part time, uh, eight semester minimum, which is four years, and fourteen semester maximum. And I believe that most of you, for international students, enroll for Doctor of Philosophy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and for graduate 
graduate on time okay for got as i mentioned uh this morning okay our kpi also we want to make sure that all of you will uh will be got which is graduate on time uh so please we really hope that all of you can manage your study and can finish your uh if you enroll master the full time for uh, into two years uh, PhD full time three years. If you enroll as a part time master three years and also PhD four years. But I believe that most of you for international student are uh, full time. Full time. So, so there's, there's all of you are full time student. So uh, for the academic rules and regulation, okay. Full time student, okay. For full-time student, minimum of four credit hours and maximum of 16 credit hours per semester. Uh, and students are allowed to register more than 16 credit okay, if you want to enroll more. But uh, with the approval of our dean here, uh, whether you are allowed or not to do so. <laughs> um, and the course registration shall be made within two weeks of the semester. Okay. And about the timetable and attendance, timetable for every semester will be uploaded uh, in IGS website two weeks before class begins, which is um, for this semester it's already uploaded, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's already it's two weeks before class begins. Yeah. And student with total attendance of uh, less than 80% can be bought. Uh, from taking final examination. So you have to make sure you attend the class and if you are able to attend the class, please make sure that you have a reasonable uh, excuse uh, and not less than 80%. Yeah? And about the deferment of study, okay, if due to critical health problems, okay, deferment of health reason is allowed for three semesters during the study, Okay, student can defer for two consecutive semester, and the period of deferment will not be considered in calculation of the maximum duration of study for study program. And beside critical health problem, okay, maybe due to the personal problem, okay, it's not more than two consecutive semester, and application shall be made before seventh week of the current semester. Okay? And the period of deferment will be considered in the calculation of the maximum duration of study for the study program. Okay. Uh, next. And uh, this might be happen and might be not. Okay. Change of mode, period of study or program. Okay. Only once within the entire period of study. Okay. Submit the application before the seven week. <laughs> of semester <laughs> application must be submitted before the end of first semester and uh, it must be verified by international office before submission to IGS which is from our uh, madam okay and related with the adding and dropping courses okay if you want to add in course, uh, with, it must be um, done within two weeks of the semester. Uh, and dropping course within seven weeks of the semester. Adding and dropping courses of uh, after the start period will be subject to a fine according to the number of days. I think this is for dropping. Adding is a And loss of uh, status of a student students shall lose the status as student if first fail to pay fees or fail to register for the semester and course or fail to make application for deferment of study by the end of the seventh week of the semester And for change of supervisor, if suddenly you want to change your supervisor, okay, uh, it's allowed with the approval of the faculty, 
consent of the original and the new supervisor and approval of the graduate study committee, which is you need to make sure that you have the consent uh, from your original supervisor and also the new supervisor that you want to appoint. Please uh, make sure they have you, you fill the form, you have their signature, then you can, you can proceed with the application. Okay, the application for changes and addition, addition of supervisor can be made at student portal. And about the number of words, okay, um, if, as you can see at the slide here, um, for Doctor of Philosophy, for your thesis, it's between 80,000 to 100,000 K. Uh, Doctor of Education, between 50 to 60,000 K. Uh, for Master by Research, the number of words that you need to uh, fulfill is between 35 to 60 K. A master by mixed mode, uh, between 20 to 40 K. And master by coursework, which is you need to um, do your paper project. So the number of words between 10,000 to 20,000 words. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, for research proposal defense, okay, students who register for thesis and dissertation are compulsory, com compulsory, sorry, to attend a proposal presentation of <laughs> other students before their own proposal defense. Okay, uh, it's applied to mode B and mode A for master and also apply for PhD as well. Uh, for level of study of PhD and Master by Research, um, the proposal presentation must done before end of second semester. Okay? Uh, for a Doctor of Education, must uh, done before end of semester registered for thesis, fourth semester. And Master by Mixed Mode must be done before a third semester of registering the dissertation. dissertation. Okay, there will be a research finding presentation as well. So there will be three presentation, um, proposal defend, research finding presentation, and also viva that you need to be complete. Uh, so student, PhD, master in research is compulsory, compulsory to present their finding before the submission of notice and preliminary thesis and dissertation. Uh, the presentation can be carried out after the thesis uh, has been completed by 80%. So if you uh, complete your thesis by 80%, then you can apply or do the research finding presentation. Okay. And about the university financial regulation, okay, fees uh, shall be settled in full before each semester begin. Student may claim for a fee refund if they withdraw within the fourth week of the semester begin. But if you withdraw after the fourth week uh, of the semester begin, uh, the fees will be remain, or we consider uh, after fourth week, is it? Withdraw after the fourth week. So make sure if you are to withdraw, it's within the fourth week of the semester begin. The student who defer semester before the seven, the week seven, the current semester fees will be brought forward to the following system. Assessment and regulation. I think this, this part you can read here. Okay. Um, uh, first, you must pay all fees, like I mentioned before. Uh, and about the student who obtain grade C plus in any courses must repeat such courses to improve their CGPA. Uh, for the better grade, uh, we will replace with previous grade. But students who fail any courses with grade F shall repeat uh, such courses in following semester. And uh, the dissertation examination fee shall be paid before the notice of preliminary dissertation submission of the semester submitted. I think the rest you can read there. Uh, there will be two is in there. Okay. For master, okay, there will be two examiners. For mode B or mixed mode, 
there will be an internal examiner. Uh, but for mode A or if uh, what we call it research mode, okay, there will be one internal and one uh, external examiner. Uh, but for uh, doctorate, uh, there will be three examiners will be appointed by the Senate based on nomination by the faculty as uh, as follows. Okay, this is an important part. Yeah, you need to uh, listen carefully. Okay, uh, about the research progress report, compulsory to submit every semester letters by week twelve of the academic calendar. Failure, uh, failure to submit the research progress report for two consecutive semester will cause the student to be terminated. So please make sure. Please make sure that you uh, fulfill the what we call it uh, the LKPS, the, the short short in the short uh, form LKPS. Uh, if you fail to do so, it might be uh, cause you be terminated from the studies. <laughs> and also the uh, plag plagiarism and research ethic. This one you, you can you can read from the slide. Yeah. And for publication, okay, for those who, who enroll um, research mode in master or uh, for master, okay, uh, you need to publish uh, one uh, journal article, okay, and for doctorate, you need to publish two journal articles uh, in order to, to make sure. Uh, for you to graduate, and here we have our licensed uh, librarian, a librarian uh, that uh, IPS have proposed, which is uh, Cheikh Razman Cheikh Rose. Okay, so you, you can contact this this person. Beside that, okay. Awesome. We also um, offer an incentive for publication. Okay, for those students who are eligible uh, for publication, incentive up to thirty thousand. Eh, sorry, three thousand throughout the study. Okay, um, one thousand if you manage to publish in Q one and Q two. Uh, Five hundred if you manage to publish in Q three and Q four, and also three hundred if you manage to publish in Scopus. But if you able, uh, if you can uh, publish uh, within the period of your study, uh, more than one uh, journal, okay. So we uh, the incentive will, will be added uh, until the maximum uh, of three thousand, okay. Okay, beside that, uh, if you want to attend a seminar, conference, and also publish a journal, okay, the type of activity like seminar, conference, uh, publication, uh, the rate uh, throughout the study for doctorate, you can claim uh, up to 2,000, and for master, up to 1,000, okay? But the student role, if you want to attend this uh, type of seminar or conference, you must be a presenter, uh, or exhibitor, or performer. Okay, in our website, okay, we also um, provide uh, many information, uh, and this information also you can find in our website uh, about the dissertation and thesis format. Okay, you can uh, look at the website. And refer uh, to the dissertation and thesis writing uh, from the IGS website for the uh, thesis. Yeah. Okay. The the important part as well, the graduation requirement. Okay. First, you need to pass all the courses required. Okay. Achieve CGPA three point zero. 
pass the dissertation or thesis, uh, meet the publication requirement, which is for master, you, might, you need to publish one uh, article journal. For doctorate, you need to publish two article journal and complete the structure of the study. And the uh, termination of study, <coughs> okay, if you, uh, your, your CGPA less than 2.0, uh, you obtain the conditional pass for two consecutive semesters, you obtain the unsatisfactory status for two consecutive semesters, uh, exceed the maximum duration of studies, uh, that you found to have violated the investigation regulation, uh, do not have student pass within two semester and also do not fulfill the English requirement within two semester. Okay, we also have a support so service which is we call is a bichara access. Okay, um, you can find this one also. You can find in our website, and we also have a office here. Uh, if you uh, when in Malaysia, but if you still um, outside of the country and you still in your country, so you can look at our website. You can um, explore first. Okay, what is uh, maybe some information that you need to know that our bit access access uh, will assist uh, and support your your personal needs. We also have um, a scholarship um, offered. Okay, we have uh, two scholarship, which is gold and bitara. Eh, sorry, gold bitara and also silver bitara. But for inter international student, okay, uh, you can look at the postgraduate gold bitara scholarship. Okay, it is for doctorate uh, level. Uh, so we already open um, the application. So the deadline is twenty eight. If you think or you want uh, to apply for this scholarship, uh, please you have to do so. Okay, this is the student portal here. Facility, no facility. Okay. Uh, and then this is the facilities that we have at the at our institute. Okay, um, student society room, viva room, student launch, computer lab, writing clinic, and we also uh, provide courses and workshop. Uh, so please check at our website if you want to enroll the workshop. You can check whatever workshop courses that we provide, and then you want to enroll, please to do so. It's free. It's free. And it's online. Yeah. So I think that's all from me. Thank you very much. And looking forward to see all of you soon. Okay, thank you, Dr. Ridwan, for the sharing about the academic rules and regulation. And then uh, I would like to continue our induction uh, session this evening with I would like to invite uh Juan Rahana Eshat to continue the this session with Briefing of the e application. Assalamualaikum and good afternoon everyone. Okay, so my name is Mohana Bintusa. Okay, so I'd like to explain to give you information about the uh, 
the application that you're going to use during your study. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, for the yeah, application, okay. uh, we have Unisys for student, which you which you need to use it for semester and consultation, lecture timetable, exam schedule and result, and also consultation and many more. Here is the here the photo we you will going to use for the uh, what we call it your academic session uh, and also your and also your you have to update your personal information and all of, and other things okay for the next uh, portal is my guru okay, for my guru uh, you are going to see your registered your registered course and also the lecture note and also e portfolio and also online survey so uh, before we go we go uh, further I would like to show you how to log in to this uh, two portal. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you stay in Malaysia, I'm not so sure about the China student. So you have to search for login your website. It's more easier for you to access it wherever you can see here if you paste I it here and after that you're going to see the uh, the lot of uh upper uh we call it portal here so you have to focus on Unisys student and also my group okay so just click on the Unisys student uh, if you are if you are first time login uh I'm not sure whether all of you have logged login or not if you you if you first time login, you have to click here, uh, and I believe that most of you have login because you already at your course, right? Okay, so uh, we further to the how to login, the normal login. Okay, so just enter your ID number, student ID. And also your password. Uh, for the first time login, you will need to change your password actually. So don't forget your password, okay? Uh, okay. The pass the first uh, the first password is your passport number. So after that, when you, when you change your, your password, you have to remember it. Okay. Okay, just sign in the computer. Okay, this is uh, the page of your uh, Unisys student. So you are, you are going to see the latest news. You can click the latest news for your further information. Uh, so I'm going to uh, I'm I'm going to explain to you one by one from the uh, the left the, the left module. Okay, can you see here? You can see here HEP. HEP here, you have to actually uh, submit your meeting on the form. It is important for us to know your oh, Okay, this is for local only, sorry. So, if, if you're going to, not going to do it, we go to the academic. <laughs> okay, we're going to, uh, to the academic. So, here you can edit your student profile. Whereby you can click to the student information and edit your information. Okay, uh, you are responsible to update your information to ensure that us know where where are you. So we when you, when we know your your uh, when we know your location, it is there for for us to contact you. Okay, so if you already fill it and and then you have to update, then you lose. Okay, another important thing is you have to add your relative. Okay, please add your relative in case anything happen to you, uh, we are able to contact your family. Okay, so just fill out the, fill out the uh, form and after that submit it to us. Okay, so for the qualification, employment and curriculum, you can update. 
uh, time by time. Okay, so after that, um, another thing, the, the, important, uh, the important module is this module, which is confirmation letter. Confirmation letter is to, uh, what we call it, for you to, to assist you, to assist you, to verify you as a student and also uh, there are many, many types of letters. So you just select it which, which one that you need. So, so for example, uh, you can you can apply for validation of student status and also uh, you can get the letter for research verification outside UPSI. Uh, this is the letter that you need during your study session. Okay, just click at the, uh, at the letter that you want, the type of letter that you want and then submit and you can get it uh, instantly. Okay. So next is uh, academic progress. This uh, this module you can see uh, the, the course that you have registered for all semester. For example, you can see here GRU and QJS, and I believe most of you already registered for uh, research methodology. Okay, so you can see here. Okay. Okay. This is the step that uh, you can you can make a, re a result review. But this this step is for master of coursework. If you are if you are a student of research mode, you cannot use this step because uh, this is for re result review, final examination only. Okay. So another one is. For the reformat of study and withdrawal for uh, of study, so I hope that you, that you that you didn't withdraw your study here, but you can defer your study if you have any problem, for example, health and other things. You can apply here. Okay, make sure you apply your make sure you apply your deferment to ensure that you you are not going to be terminated because if we cannot contact you so we're going to terminate you okay okay uh, if you want to add change or withdraw your supervisor you can use this uh, tab okay by the slide and fill up your fill up your what you need uh, kind of uh, if you want to add supervisor or withdraw your supervisor okay Okay, this is the logbook. Logbook whereby for the, especially for the uh, research mode, research mode, you 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 are going to see your supervisor uh, for a semester. For one semester, for a semester, you have to see four times, four times your supervisor. So it's good for you. It's it's a must for you to uh, to meet your supervisor and apply it on the logbook. This is the this is for your record. You record your own progress uh, and meet your supervisor. So make sure before you meet your supervisor, you log, you uh, make an appointment to be, uh, using logbook. Okay. Okay. This is uh, supervisor evaluation. Supervisor evaluation. Uh, before you can before you can fill up LKPS, which uh, the short form is LKPS. Uh, research progress that the short form is FPS. So you before you can fill up the FPS, you have to fill up supervision evaluation first. Okay. So after you this is for you to evaluate your supervisor, whether your supervisor is able to supervise you or not. You can comment on the uh, evaluation. Okay, after that you fill up the LKGS, as you can see here, this is for this semester, semester 2, session 2023-2024. So, as you can look here, the status is entry. So, after you fill up the LKGS, you have to make sure that this status change to submit. Okay, after you after it change to submit, you have to contact your supervisor and make sure your supervisor approve your approve your LKPS. If not, you're going to get unsatisfactory or TM. 
So after two consecutive PM, you're going to be terminated. So for the uh, research, research mode student, please make sure that you fill up LKPS for every semester. Okay, this LKPS also we're going will be going to be used for your visa extension. Visa extension, and uh, that's why it's important for you to fill up. Okay. So, okay, after that, you can uh, see here the research tracking. Research tracking, uh, mainly for research mode also. So, for, uh, for the start, you have to extend the proposal, other, other student proposal presentation. So, uh, you can see here the, what we call it, the feature change to yes. So, uh, if you attend the, attending the other student presentation, but the, what we call it, the icon still uh, state, state, state no, you have to contact your faculty. It also same with proposal different details. Uh, your proposal, after you define your proposal, if the icon still no, you also have to contact your faculty. Okay, and also findings. For example, this uh, this student still not uh, present his finding details. That's why the icon state no. Okay, until your graduate requirement. After you after the after the icon change to yes, you're going to be graduated. Okay. Okay, this is what this is what we mentioned earlier about training. So you can apply here training, and you can apply here, and you can see the details and also uh, the type of training, and also you can see the calendar here. So just apply it as uh, the our team mentioned earlier that this is a free course and online course. So well, you are welcome to join our training. For every semester, okay. So going to the next step, which is emysis. Emysis, uh, here you can see the problem structure. Okay, uh, I would like to maintain and update. Okay, here as you can see here, what everything subject, any subject that you registered, we're going to be stated in your structure. So you you are going to know which which course that you have taken and passed and which course that you didn't take yet. This, this structure will be assist the coursework and also mixed mode. You can see uh, you can you can see that other subject that you didn't take yet, you can sorry. Okay. Other subject that you didn't take yet, so you may plan your study for the next semester. Okay, so this as I show here is the <laughs> this is for ah, okay, for the research for the research program only. That's why you can see you see here uh, just a simple one, but for the coursework and also mix mode, there will there will be a lot of list of uh, courses. Okay. Okay. We go for the course session. I believe that most of you already already uh, make uh, course session. So this is where the page for every semester you have to go here, and after that you have to. Register for your courses. Okay, you just click here and you can see what courses that uh, offered for you for the next semester. For the student, uh, he already he already registered, so he you can you can see here the course the registered courses. So for uh, research mode, you are uh, for this semester. We are encourage you to register for research method. Uh, in order for to ensure that you don't forget about the research method. <coughs> so after that, for the for the next semester until you graduate, you're going to uh, you're going to register thesis subject only. Okay, so make sure every semester after you pay your fee, 
you have to register your thesis. Don't forget about it. Either if not, you are going, you are not able to fill up your application. And as I mentioned earlier, you are going to get unsatisfactory, which is TM. So we don't want the TM things, but we want the satisfactory things, which is SM. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is what's in the uh, exam schedule. Schedule, uh, this, this step will be, be using by, will be used by coursework and speaking smart student only. Okay, this is your exam result. So for the end of semester, uh, you're going to, you're going to have examination results. So I will show you here. Okay, as you can see here, this is the grade is SM. Okay, that we want it, we don't want it TM, okay? Okay, for the finance, you can see here the financial, whereby you will pay for your fee. And also, if you need to transfer you any money, so the, uh, the, the transaction will be here. Okay, so... Other important thing is my email, as uh, our team mentioned earlier. You have to, you have to log, log in to your email portal. So, uh, if you click here, there, there is uh, information about your email and your password. So, just click here to log in to, log in to your SISWA email. So, make sure you log in to your SISWA email to ensure that your SISWA email did, did, uh, did not deactivate. Uh, so it's important for your email SISWA active because when you when you forgot about your uh, UNICEF password, the email will be entered to the, your SISWA email. So make sure that your SISWA email password and also, uh, is you remember your email, uh, email system password and also make sure that you uh, always get into your email to get your the latest information because anything that we going to anything the information that we're going to tell you we are we are, we are going to send to the email email system. Okay. So uh, other thing there is a uh, there's a normal thing, but you can explore it by your own. Okay, I'll move to the, my guru, my guru here. Okay, you can sign in uh, as normal for, uh, from the UNICEF. So, okay, sorry. Okay, here, just log in with your student ID and your password. So it is important for you to remember your password. Don't make your password difficult and then, <laughs> then you get trouble. Okay? Okay, as you can see here, what I mean share here, this is the uh, course that uh, will be mentioned, will be appear on your My Guru screen. Okay, for the student, for example, there is only thesis because he already take his GRU. So for the uh, art for you as a first semester, I believe that you're going to see the thesis and also uh, GRU, SRU, and other uh, other research method uh, course. Okay, just be here to see uh, the. Materials, uh, if your if your supervisor or lecturer have uploaded quiz uh, here, final assessment here, assignment here, so uh, you have to open this my group, okay? Uh, okay, I believe. Okay, we go to the uh, UPF IGS website. Okay, for the IGS website, you just you just type my Okay, 
Okay, just type IPS UPSI and then you can you can click here and those and so that you can you the, the, the first page is like this. Okay, so from here you can see many tab. Okay, I'll go for the English one. There is an announcement here and also the, uh, the important the important tab for example I go for this is the line so for this for the for the research for the research what especially you have to concern about the thesis guideline and also how to how to give a proposal how to Findings, but uh, presentation, and also that. So you have to open this website to make sure that you are in. To make sure that you are smooth sailing uh, in order to complete your thesis on this mission. Okay. So in other things, is the e form. So if you want to, for example, uh, change program or. Specialization, so you have to go to the lecture unit. So I go for my uh, unit, which is supervision unit. This is the form that you're going to use during your study. Either you are research mode, mixed mode, or coursework mode. Okay, the form is all here. You just you just need to explore it. Okay, this is examination and publication. After you complete your study, you're going to use this form. So other than that, uh, you can explore it by your own. Okay, here is our contact our contact number. You may contact us either from telephone extension number and also the hotline. So. The most efficient way for you to contact us is email us. So going to reply as soon as, as possible to you. So if you are unable to contact us through telephone, you can email us. But I believe that you have to be patient also because there is a lot of students, but we are going to entertain you by if after your turn right? Okay? So I think that's all for me. Good luck everyone on whether your study. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Wahana, for the sharing about the application and about the uh, portal, student portal, IGS website, and uh, my guru, which is all of this you need to explore for yourself later. Okay, I would like to continue uh, with our last uh, agenda, which is uh, Q&A session. So, all of you can uh, put the question on the chat box. Uh, and we will try to answer your question. Okay? Okay, we need to first. <laughs> okay, for the first question from YG, uh, YG, 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 okay, question from YouTube. Are there any intensive courses for international international students during the summer or winter vacation? Okay, there are no intensive courses for international students during the summer or winter vacation. But if you are here, you can join the free workshops uh, which we have scheduled uh, for all of you. Okay, thank you for for the answer. Next question from uh, Brother Sawa Akuka. JJ, I am facing an issue as semester start from 25th March, mm -hmm. as in offer letter. I am applying now on EMGS. Uh, they, they, are, they, they are asking about admission date for apply should be from April. I need new 
No, no. Actually, for this one, we will take, we will resolve the issue for you. So we have a template already uh, that we will send to EMGS. Uh, so about uh, issues about offer letter and all that, no need, no need to worry. We will proceed uh, doing it for you. Thank you, Mariam. Good evening. 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 I have tried all the ways and have sent emails to. I need to register the clause as session will start on Monday. So, Mariam, uh, if I'm not uh, mistaken, you are Mariam, uh, Mariam Hashim Nizadeh, right? Okay, Mariam, uh, the issue that, that you are cannot log in to your portal uh, maybe yesterday because you are not, your payment is not being cleared by the bursary, but uh, for now, we already sent to you one email. Uh, for activation, so uh, good news is you are already activate as a student. So for now, you can uh, uh, you can uh, log into your student portal. Remember to use your student metric number as your username, and your password will be your uh, your will be your pass passport number. Okay. So now you already been activated. Okay, congratulations, Maria. So uh, everybody, you need to understand that once you have paid. Okay, because you are international students, so there's time lapse. Okay, so usually it takes within two or three days uh, for the bursar to process and to make sure that the uh, the payment has gone through. Okay, to to our to UPSI, then only they will uh, you know uh, activate yeah, yeah uh, 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 activate you. Okay, so expect one of two days. Uh, I think I have to have something about presentation. Will we receive this presentation? Slide. Yes, yes. <laughs> you can refer it uh, on the website. Yeah, it will be uploaded on the website, and you can actually look in, look at it and you know, watch it again if you want to. Thank you, Paul. From mm -hmm. uh, brother and stole to John. Jenny Camp student holding already a first PhD research from a local Malaysia university be accepted from the subject research methodology subject can be advised. Okay, uh, Ernesto, uh, there is no exemption at all, okay, because it's the MQA requirement in which that all research, a PhD research student have got to go through uh, the research methodology course. So the research methodology course is compulsory for you regardless. Okay, okay before that, uh, <laughs> so uh, you guys can fill the attendance link. Uh, our admin already shared the attendance link. Uh, which is uh, all you all of you can uh, feel the the link the attendance link okay uh, for the next question from Jinsia Bo uh, the progress of my visa has been thirty percent thirty percent for half a month how uh, to register this in this okay uh, before Madam Nurul can answer about your visa uh, for Jinsia I already uh, uh, see your name uh, already done the pre registration that but the problem is uh, you already done your tuition fee uh, thank you but uh, your visa you are uh, just upload your EMG the EMG the EMGS approval letter only but what but the thing that we need is uh, eval letter so I think Madanuru will explain to you the process of of the uh, from EMGS approval letter to the eval letter. Okay, hi Jinsia. Um, currently, I see in the system that you're documented, your docu documents have been submitted to the immigration. So once your documents are submitted to the immigration, uh, you will get, and once you get your eval, 
So basically, when your documents are submitted to the immigration, um, there will be no problem. Subject to, you have not come to Malaysia during your process, during your application process, subject to. So let's say if you have come to Malaysia during the application process, your aval might be rejected. So if you have not come during the application, uh, you should. Sure. Yeah, so all right, right now, when it's your documents are submitted to immigration, it might take around seven working days for the immigration to process. And you may wait around another seven days, seven working days to see whether you got your eval or not. So once you get your eval, your process will be around 80%. That 100% will be done once you come to Malaysia. You can come to Malaysia already once you get your eval and that your percentage, percentage is around 80%. Okay? So just wait for a little bit long, uh, 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 a little bit more, uh, Jinja. Uh, the fact that the, the documents have been submitted, so you, you will get your eval soon. So, uh, we make your pre-registration status incomplete. So, after you get eval, after back the eval letter, so we will process and we will activate you as soon as possible. Don't worry. Don't worry about not being able to register because we will actually assist you and make sure that once you get your eval, you will be able to register. Okay, so we we waiting for another questions there. Uh, got any other question from all of you? You can put a question, ask uh, ask us for we answer your question. From Okay, from uh, Louisiana, where I can download the form from the form defense, from defense, the problem, defense, 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 So uh, at at our website, click information, and uh, sorry, yeah, click yeah, informs, yeah. right? And you will be directed to the uh, <coughs> to go to the supervision, right? Supervision. Oh, sorry. Uh, wall, right? <laughs> okay. I will share back. I share it back to you. Okay, uh, so, uh, uh, on that, seven, eight, ten. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, right. So, uh, you go to the supervision and you go to the number 13, the 13th form, with, uh, which is search proposal defense slash revival slash research finding form. So, you can download there your okay. form. If you look, uh, this is the website, okay? So, under e forms, scroll up and down, please. You can see uh, there are, uh, this is on supervision, there are also forms for lecture, for examination and convocation, for administration and finance. So there are many, many, many forms here. So if you ever need one, you can actually download from here. Okay, from uh, Justin, if we did the wrong cost registration, will we do correction before the class begin? Okay, I would suggest that you write an email to the lecture unit. Uh, can can someone please write the email address there? Okay, uh, please uh, uh, send an email there and we can actually help you to uh, solve the problem. Okay, yeah, they can. Uh, we, we already shared the, the, uh, the email, so you can can email to up.ips at upsi.edu. 
Is there any other question from all of you guys? I would really, uh, I would really um, appreciate. Uh, thank you so much for spending your time with us this evening. But I would really appreciate that you you are in contact with us. You know that you email us if there is a need to do so. Uh, please don't be a stranger again okay, to the Institute of Graduate Studies because if you do not contact us, we do not know what are your problems uh, in order to help. Uh, all of you. Okay, so please stay in touch, check your email, and have a good academic journey ahead. Thank you. Okay, yeah. yeah, uh, uh, I think that's all from the, the student, from the viewers. So we hope that you guys are clear and got something from the induction session today so if there are any other questions so you can reach out IDS uh, okay we will share the, the information uh, that you can uh, contact us later so I hope uh, you guys can uh, follow our social media too uh, we have Instagram we have uh, Facebook we have YouTube uh, we have TikTok and the latest the latest platform that we just uh, create okay, for you guys to follow this. Okay? Uh, so I think that's all from us. Uh, we wish all the best for you guys and see you later. Bye bye. bye. For the Muslims, have a great celebration. They have a good evening. Sampai jumpa